We can also look at human rights in relation to multiculturalism, the uh, foundation of Canadian society. And we can see that human rights is essential to uh, realizing this and to making this work practically and theoretically. Uh, without respect for human rights, we lack the common bond that makes Canada possible. And uh, in order to, for Canada to keep progressing and in order to address many of the inequalities, uh, such as the United Nations report that indicated severe inequalities when it comes to Aboriginal and African Canadians, uh, it's important to look at human rights and see that not only does it help us recognize these inequalities, but is a tool that can help us overcome them as well. Um, in conclusion, uh, I'd like to make reference to the, the Elders Council and the Every Human Has Rights campaign, which is in many ways the catalyst um, for what we're doing today. Uh, and we're here to re request that elected officials and other decision makers uh, around the world uh, take human rights seriously and reflect on, the, on this day of the 60th anniversary and, uh, and, and pledge to take human rights uh, to the next level and continue uh, striving toward realizing uh, human rights and living up to the Universal Declaration, which our country helped pioneer. And so, as the Elders Council and, and such notable figures as Mary Robinson and Nelson Mandela and Kofi Annan have requested that the world and governments in particular pledge uh, toward the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, uh, I must ask, will these people listen to their elders as they hope you, young people listen to them? And, uh, and will, those st will those standards be met? Uh, I hope it is. And... Um, I hope that as young people we take this very seriously and we realize that everything we see around us is we will be inheriting. And, uh, and human rights is a vehicle to ensure that what we inherit is, is just and what we inherit is what we envision for the future.